It has been quite the week in the markets, and I thought I would let you know three things I'm thinking about as I head into the weekend ahead of the Fed and who knows what else the world has to offer for us. So the first one is accept your losses. Yeah. If you've got losses that you incurred in the volatility of the past couple of weeks or past few days, I'm not just talking about accepting them by exiting the position and you know jotting them down and being aware of the dollars and cents. I'm talking about emotionally and mentally accepting them so that you are clear-headed and able to move forward in your trading. So you use the way that you need to for you to be able to accept loss just like you would in any other standard sort of grief situation because you will not be able to move forward and do good things if you can't accept what you've experienced. Once you do that, I would step back and assess a variety of markets. So if you usually only trade stocks, for example, take a look at futures. Take a look at crypto. Just kind of look at something else different than what you're always looking at, and it'll give you a fresh perspective. So I've been looking at markets that could fare well if this turmoil continues, things like gold and silver and Bitcoin, like I mentioned, or crypto in general. And not necessarily that I'm going to go trade them, but just looking at those charts helps me reset before I come back to the charts of the things I normally study and trade, like the E-mini S&P futures and S&P 500 stocks. Okay. And the last piece of advice, guys, don't forget the basics. Come back to the basics. Times like this make it really easy for us to think that we need some really complex tool to navigate the markets. And while those complex tools have their time and place, if you're feeling like you just were put through you know, a whirlwind here and you're trying to get your bearings, don't reach for that complex, more advanced item. Go back to the basics. And in our world, that usually starts with the basics of price action, the winning price action playbook, the missing trend strategy, or the basics of momentum, right? My winning RSI playbook or my bull bear RSI face-off ebook. I'm just letting you know that these are physical things that are actually there at your disposal that you can go back to to reset. I've been especially doing that with momentum this week, just really refamiliarizing myself with momentum movement of the RSI power zones, the patterns, and more. So there you have it, my three tips for how we can take what happened this week, kind of trudge on, move forward, and be ready for what's ahead. And guys, there's no law that says you have to be trading at every given moment, every given time, every given day, every given week, okay? If this has been a lot for you, it's okay to take a breather. Focus on your education, focus on your health, focus on your mental reset that you need because the markets aren't going anywhere. And this volatility is probably gonna stick around for a long time. So keep it up. Keep at it. I'm here with you and I'll catch you on the inside.